In this video, we're gonna take this mess of an RV renovation and turn it into this gorgeous residential feeling RV. So about four years ago, Jenna and I had this big dream to go full-time RVing and we were just breaking into the industry, but we knew we needed to get an RV. We went shopping at different dealerships and looking at different floor plans and models. We just couldn't find the interior that we liked. So we bought this 2019 Keystone Cougar 315 RLS with the intention of giving it a full renovation. Now life got in the way a little bit and the project got started but four years later, it still wasn't quite finished. So we were getting really tired of having this extra RV on our shoulders and just never having time to get this renovation done. So about a month ago, we contacted our friends, the Thompsons, who are full-time RVers themselves. They live in an Airstream and they renovate RVs on the side. If you guys watch Less Junk More Journey, they, they did a whole renovation on their Grand Design Solitude that they have and did an amazing job. And so we reached out to them to see if they could help us with this project. Hey, we're Lindsay and Stuart. You can find us at Living Small Dreaming Big on Instagram, YouTube, all the socials. So I guess what makes us professionals is that number one, I love to design and Stuart loves to do work with his hands. We've rebuilt an Airstream completely and we've done several other RV renovations. So one of the other big things that I do as a profession is I'm also a certified RV inspector. So prior to even doing renovations and things like that, I always look them over to make sure that, you know, that the bones are worth, you know, building on. And we're really excited to turn Jen and Will's RV into an amazing tiny home on wheels. So again, thank you so much to the Thompsons for doing a beautiful job on this RV renovation. And guys, the exciting news is this is now for sale. So that was kind of the reason that we wanted to get this renovation finished up so we could get this sold and kind of off of our shoulders. And I really hope that um, another couple or family can enjoy camping or full timing in this RV. So we will have a link down in the description below to the RV trader listing. So you can go on there and see all the pictures of it, all the details, all the upgrades we made pricing, everything like that. But if you if you are interested, Will's phone number is right here. It's 202-531-8240. Make sure you give him a call if you're interested in this, have any questions, or want to schedule a time to see it. We will be down in the Tampa, Lakeland, Florida area for the next few weeks now. Um, we're going to do our best to get this over to somewhere at the Tampa RV show while we're working it. So if anyone wants to come and see it there, um, but also in the weeks leading up, if you want to come and take a look at it, we can schedule a time to make that happen. So make sure to give Will a call. And I think that's all of the details, right, Will? I think all so. All the details about the sale. So yeah, make sure to contact us if you're interested. But without further ado, we're going to jump into the inside tour. All right, so coming in, the first thing you see is this gorgeous kitchen. And guys, you'll notice that this floor plan is pretty much the same as what we have now with our Alliance Avenue. So you can see that we like this rear living kind of style floor plan. So right here we have a huge island, um, nice big sink. I When we did this renovation, I wanted to prioritize having like a nice big farmhouse style sink so that's easy to do dishes and watch wash big pots and pans and everything. So when I told the Thompsons that, she was like, I'll make sure that we get a nice big sink in here, a nice faucet and everything. And we went with these butcher block style countertops. I think that they complement a lot of the natural wood accents that you'll see throughout the fifth wheel. And we had originally painted the lower cabinets kind of like a dark teal green color. Admittedly, Will and I didn't probably do the best job painting the cabinets. We're not experts at RV renovation, so even though I did some research, we were still having issues with the painting or with the paint peeling off. So the Thompsons went ahead and repainted all the kitchen cabinets so the paint can be a lot more durable for the next owner of this. So coming over here, this is what I look at as more of like the coffee bar or I know Matt likes the taco bar concept. And um, there's actually tons of storage in here. So you know, I'll show you guys a little bit of some of the storage you got. But I think you could definitely have room for like a nice coffee pot here. There's also storage down below. And I actually really like the color they went with. I wanted to do like a two-tone look like this and I think this kind of dark charcoal gray looks really nice. Coming around here, we have a Dometic fridge. Um, so this is, this runs off of what again, Will? Propane um, or electric. Okay, so, so it, it works both frame. ways, yep. yep. So it's, but it is a nice big one, oh, which, yeah. you know, I really like that. Lots of room. If you're full timing or something, there's a lot of room for all your food in here. Yep. And then over here, continuing with the butcher block countertops, I do like how it's a nice big microwave. It's a high point microwave. 
and then a Purion oven and cooktop. So again, so similar to what we have in our RV, um, three burners with your oven. And I love how like, you know, some of these layouts, the fridge, like there's like no counter space right. around the oven. Um, I like how you have like space here to prep and move stuff over to the oven. Storage up and around the microwave, storage down here. It's a lot of storage. It really kitchen. is. And then I'll show you all on this side okay. of the island. We have three drawers. And then actually a ton of stuff. I There's know. It's going to be hard to get that sink. angle. But there you go. For all your stuff. So last part of the kitchen here is this pantry, which this is one thing that's a little bit different than the layout in their avenue is the pantry right. over here versus this. And um, tons of space. This is, I mean, this is a huge pantry. It so is. Tons of room for all of your food. And then there's like a nice little like I don't know, like textured glass layover that they did, so you can still and there's a light in there, isn't there? There is, yeah. Nice. Making our way over into the living room, this is what feels so residential to me. So we opted to go with residential style furniture instead of the RV furniture, and I think that if you're um, full t looking to full time and you want an RV that feels very residential, like apartment style. This definitely has that look to it. So we have our TV entertainment center over here, fireplace that runs off of electric, which is really nice. Storage up here. And you have your little Furion um, music player. You can connect to Bluetooth. And that actually works with the speakers inside and outside. Right, right. So back here, there actually used to be cabinets up here. And I don't know if I regret the decision to take the cabinets out, but I will say in our RV and we full time pretty much, um, we don't need that. that no, we don't. Space. And so it kind of felt like it was like closing in yeah. on the RV a little bit. And I thought it would be nice to remove those and just feel like it kind of elevated the ceiling. So that's what we did. And there was like some wiring in the corners that comes out from the wall. So it was kind of hard to find a solution to like hide that and make it look nice. And they did this like, uh, faux beam, which I love this. It stretches across. I think that looks so cool and it just again bringing in like those residential touches. We also did curtain rods instead of your normal like RV blinds, uh, which is kind of keep it feeling different. And nice big back window on this cougar. So this is something I love because when you guys are camping, if you have like, if you're staying somewhere with a beautiful view, you can back this window up to your view of the beach or the mountains or wherever you're at. And then below it, we have our nice couch. I think these came from Ikea, right? I think so, yeah, is it comfy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I love I love the look of it. Like, i just realizing now that the color really goes with the yeah. lower cabinets. Well, and what's funny is like, like you might think like, oh, it's not a trifle, but I'd rather sleep on it like that than the uncomfortable trifle. Yeah, well, every now and then, like when I sleep on a trifle, I usually sleep on the couch just like this. I don't yeah. like the bed out. And then they actually added these little like nightstands that are side tables that perfectly fit with the couch really nicely. Mm -hmm. And I love this rug. So we're right. gonna, we're gonna throw this in if you guys like this rug and these pillows and everything. You can keep it because I think it looks really cute in this space and it's making me want to put a rug in ours because it's right. just feeling really nice. So finishing up the living room, they did new um, slide out trim. And I love it because it actually matches the butcher block countertops. Mm -hmm. Like all the wood accents in here um, tie in really nicely together, which I love. And I think that you cedar, you can smell it. It smells so good yeah, in here. Yeah, that like log cabin feel smell in here and everything. So another cat, I think, is this one a little bit smaller? It's a little smaller, yeah. It's yeah. smaller, but like same kind of couches over there. So it matches nicely. And then finishing up, this used to be a dinette with chairs, a built-in dinette, and um, they opted to do this round table. And it's actually really nice because it makes it feel just like a lot more open and spacious. Here. Right, right. Um, so I actually like the idea of a round table, just kind of like, like, I think because it's not like sharp corners. Yeah. So it's so tight when you're sitting here. And of course we painted the walls white, um, the cabinets are painted. Um, so it's just this, whole RV is just so much different than what it used to be. So we've showed you guys the whole main living area. So Will, do you want to show us the bedroom and bathroom now? Sure. All right. All right, so coming upstairs, they do have this, uh, I forget what kind of door they call this, but it's the sideways it's door. Like a, it's like a pivot door. Pivot door, that's it. Um, and they took the, I'll start with the shower. They, they took the normal glass shower enclosure out. This just looks so much nicer and gives you a little bit more room. 
I love that there's just a little tiny step up there and you have so much head height in here um, because they put the skylight in the right spot with the seat across from it, which I love that. So many times they'll do like the skylight here and you're like, but the seat's there. Um, I love the new shower head. It definitely passes the tall test too. Bing! <laughs> and um, yeah, it just looks really, really good. Over here, this is all custom and very residential. Nice mirror right there. You have a full custom vanity. So we took the whole uh, previous vanity out and um, they, they made one to fit in here. This nice sink that sits on top, nice faucet. I really like this because you can actually get in here and brush your teeth, wash your face, do whatever is needed, even though it is a little bit of a smaller bathroom. Nice butcher block countertop in here, good little towel rack, and then some storage underneath with shelving and everything. Nice. And then behind me, it's gonna be hard for you to see, but you do have a nice bathroom closet space right there, and then a toilet right there in a really good place. Cool, then coming into the bedroom here. So in the bedroom, they matched the, the trim or the slide out trim that they used in the living area. And um, it does have a king size bed. We optioned it for that when we bought it. But this mattress will also be getting upgraded by Brooklyn Bedding. They were nice enough to give a free mattress to the new owner. So that'll be shipped directly to you if you purchase it. Real quick, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We've owned our Alliance Avenue for a little over a year now, and one of the best upgrades that we made was our mattress. Most of the standard RV mattresses today are cheap, thin, and super uncomfortable. And if you're like us and spending a lot of nights in your RV, you're gonna wanna upgrade that mattress. When we first used our RV, I knew that the mattress was gonna be a little bit rough, but we were hesitant to invest in an expensive mattress at that time. Instead, I tried to wrap myself in as many pillows as possible to make it a little bit softer. Most mornings I still woke up tired and a little sore. That's where RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding really saved the day for us. They make ultra luxurious mattresses perfect for RVers. And they have a variety of styles and sizes, plus they're at a really great price. We originally went with their Aurora Lux Hybrid mattress in the soft firmless level. And at first we felt like we were sleeping on a cloud. After sleeping on it for a couple months, we realized we made a little mistake. The soft mattress was honestly just a little too soft for our liking. Luckily, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding offers a 120 night comfort trial. It's a complete risk-free option with free shipping on delivery, exchanges, and returns. That's all there is to it, 120 nights, no drama, no return fees. Our new mattress also came in a little thinner and a little narrower, which made it easier to get in bed, get the sheets on, and most importantly, for Tucker to be able to jump on the bed. They also offer a 10 year warranty on every mattress, free shipping, and they're made right here in America. They deliver the mattress right to your door and it comes shrink wrapped, which makes it so much easier to get into your RV. And it's so satisfying to watch it inflate. When we decided to sell this RV, we knew that we couldn't put the new owners through the pain of sleeping on a hard, uncomfortable mattress. So we reached out to our friends at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and they agreed to give the new owner a brand new mattress to get a good night's rest on while camping. So if you've been wanting to upgrade your RV mattress and get a better night's sleep on your camping trip, then click the link below or scan this QR code and use promo code Will and Jen to get 20% off your next mattress. Thank you so much to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to that beautifully renovated RV. Over here, you do have a nice big closet, which is really nice. Especially if you're full timing, you just can never have enough closet space. And it's all on the tracks and everything so it won't like swing around and, and fall off. And then you do have mirrors there as well. Now, again, we were planning on full timing in this. So we did a couple upgrades that you won't traditionally see, especially at the dealership. Um, one of them is, well, storage up top first, but it does have a brand new all-in-one washer and dryer in it that comes with it, obviously. Nice. Um, so that is awesome, especially if you're gonna full time. We wish that we had one in our avenue. And the other thing is, is we optioned it with the second AC unit right there. So again, full timing, you know, you, you'll really, really want that, especially when you're in the hotter weather yeah. during summer and everything. Um, coming over here, you do have nice uh, blinds here that come down. 
and those are blacked out so in the mornings and everything and they're all the way around so in the mornings um you know if you need to sleep in a little later you can nice tv right here butcher block countertops and then you got your storage drawers here very nice cool I like the look of this wood. I too. do too. It's a little bit different than I think some it's of the like other a, wood. Acacia wood yeah. or whatever. It smells so good too. It does. So coming to the outside, there's no real upgrades or anything that we did. It's gonna be your standard um, exterior colors, as you would see on any 2019 315 RLS. Up front, you do have a fully painted fiberglass front cap, which is really nice. And again, it is the front cap, so it, it swoops around, um, helping prevent any water from getting in. Right here, you got um, the Lippert pin box, and um, you do have the patented hitch vision since this is a Keystone product. I went ahead and added in the, um, what is this called again? Uh, it's like a toe plate, like yeah. a fifth wheel uh, hitch plate just to minimize yeah, rubbing really and stuff. Yeah, it's really loud if you're like, especially in a camera, I'm making those sharp turns. So we added that in underneath here. There is tons of storage, and I believe spare tires. Yeah, spare tire here, and um, battery box and everything in there. Nice. Coming along the side, you'll see that it has four-point electric leveling checks. That was, we were really down to between two units when we bought this, and that was one of the big selling features for me with this unit was auto leveling, um, having it electric and auto, automatic. Right over here, you do have two um, propane tanks these are the larger size and oh so this unit i think we forgot to mention guys we have literally never slept in this one night so it's brand new like the propane's still full from the dealership um so you you know we've never slept in it we've never used a bed we've never used a propane all of that is brand new like brand new but old if that makes sense <laughs> Um, I will say one thing we were really good about, even though, um, you know, we were kind of slow on the renovations on the inside, we really tried hard to take care of the exterior of this. I washed it several times and we actually just had it professionally washed because we were out of town and waxed. So you can actually feel it. It feels really yeah. good. It cleaned up really looks well. It's really nice. It nice looks like shiny. we just bought it, honestly. It, it really does. Yeah, it looks great. Um, under here, guys, there is a little bit of a mess. Um, we we want to get this video out as soon as possible, but we're still touching up a few things. Yeah, we just got down from Florida, so we yeah. I'm going to be taking a day and getting all this out and cleaning it really good for you guys, so yeah. um, that it's all this open. This is just some of the construction stuff, and a lot of it's trash now. We just were hanging on to stuff to make sure we didn't need it. Um, but we'll get this all cleaned up and vacuum. But if you see, Jen, this has more storage than our avenue. It does. does. It's really nice. Like, do we use those um, tough totes from Home Depot? And, yep. like, you could fit, I think, two next to each other, at least right. at least on this side. Whereas with our avenue, I think we can only fit, like, one right. um, in a line there. So, yeah, lots of storage space. It's, yeah, the storage is great. You have your in-command system there. You can do a, a TV that swings out. And this door is held up um, on, a, on magnets as well, which I really like. Slam latch doors. Slam latch doors. You do have these uh, more right step above steps, solid steps. We really like that. And then underneath is the, it's kind of hard to see because of the slide out, but are the um, tires. Now there's Trailer King tires on it. My goal, unless somebody buys it first and we can kind of negotiate that out if I don't get it done in time, but my goal is to get Goodyear Endurance tires. These truthfully are, um, you know, really crappy tires. There's no other way of putting it. And I really don't want somebody to have to drive down the road in those. So yes, the goal is to get Goodyear Endurance tires. If not, like, again, we'll work it out. Maybe we give you a credit so you can get them yourself if you buy it before we get those tires put in. Yep. Um, double awning again that was that was a huge selling feature with us as well we like to be outside we like to grill um, and enjoy the fresh air and the weather um, so yeah double awning is awesome coming along the back it is prepped for backup camera um, again the roof it's a tpo roof two acs on the top no solar on this uh, but there's definitely plenty of room to put solar if you wanted to nice ladder to get on the back hitch rated for 300 pounds 50 amp power. Um, the roof was cleaned as well. Um, I'm not gonna go up there because it's it's been raining and it's a really tall step, but maybe when Matt films it, we'll, we'll get up there. 
but um, it is a TPO roof. And again, I have cleaned it three, four times and they just cleaned it again. Um, and every time I clean it, I always make sure to check all the seals, you know, make sure there's no tears or anything in the roof. So the roof should be in good shape. Coming right here, you have a fresh water connection there. Your dump station is right there, which is a really, really good place. Yeah. Right? You have your furnace, your water heater, and then this is the other side of that storage. Um, Got your whole wet bay there. Your whole wet bay station there, your pull valves. That's really nice too that it's in there um, because, oh, this this is a all seasons coach. So, you know, you can camp in it during winter, you know, again. With Within the reason, yeah. yeah <laughs> not, maybe not in Canada during the winter. Right. Um, but it, all this is heated, so those pole valves shouldn't freeze. Nice. Um, and, and then, then yeah, more storage, your electric leveling that I talked about right there. Nice. Before we wrap it up, I did want to mention, guys, we are going to be selling our truck soon. We need to upgrade our truck because it's a little bit too heavy for the avenue and just for some other projects we're working on. Um, but this, based off of the numbers that I know with the Cougar, it should be a really good fit. So if you're interested in it, we can always weigh, weigh it to double check. The Cougar is a little bit lighter than the Avenue, so I actually think it would be a great fit and we can kind of work out a package deal. Um, we, this isn't as urgent, but um, you know we're, we're ready to sell it if somebody came, especially if they wanted like a whole package deal. Um, so I can't, like the inside's kind of dirty, but I'll give you all the details. And of course we can clean it up and show you if you're interested in the whole package, but it's a 2015 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, um, Denali trim level, about 94,000 miles on it. Truthfully, it's got the 6.0, it's a gas engine, which is what makes it actually a good fit for the Cougar. Since the Cougar is lighter, you don't need as much towing power, but you do need a little more cargo capacity, which uh, the gas engine gives you that since it's lighter. The diesel is heavier, so it takes away from the cargo capacity. Um, so again, really good fit. Um, and the truck has been honestly awesome for us. I don't think we've hardly had any issues with no, it. No, right? we, we I've loved I've actually like really sad that we have to yeah, sell this just uh, yeah, for what no. we want next with yeah. our RV journey, but yeah, like it, it's just it won't like work out for what we need like towing capacity, yeah. but I've loved this truck. Yeah, no, this has been a great truck and I would seriously like drive this truck into the ground if <laughs> we didn't need something yeah. bigger. Um, we obviously we've towed the Avenue a lot with it and it is a little bit heavy with the Avenue, um, especially once we load up. The Cougar, I, I'm telling you, it, we did tow the Cougar with it and it towed it so well. You know, I just didn't feel like I was pushing it as much and it didn't squat as much. So again, I think it's a great fit. You know, again, reach out to me. We gotta kind of work through some details. We gotta get it cleaned up and make sure we can get our new truck in time. But if you're looking for a package deal, we can definitely make that work for you. Mm-hmm, and it's good for doggies. It is good for doggies. Tucky. Tucker. Tucky, say hi. Do you, say hi. Say, I endorse the truck if you're interested. <laughs> and I'll leave all my paw prints on it for you. Aww. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that wraps up the tour of our renovated 2019 Keystone Cougar 315 RLS. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting a look into um, the before and after of this RV that we've had for four years now. We finally got it finished up and we're really excited for the next family to enjoy it. So again, if you're interested in buying this RV, make sure to um, give us a call. I'll put Will's phone number down below as well as the link to the RV trader listing so you can go check out all the details. But we are very motivated to, um, to sell this guy. So, you know, if you're interested, please reach out and uh, we'd love to talk with you and schedule a time for you to come see it. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys. They make ultra lurk. <laughs> ultra luxurious mattresses. Luxurious. 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 luxurious.